They're a bit of an unknown quantity to us, uh, but they're certainly very strong school in rugby league and uh, I believe they play a bit of rugby union as well. It'll be interesting to see how they go. They should be able to tackle, that's for sure. Scott's gold keeping the ball going. They've got the over overlap here. If they can get it out to the wing, and they do. Here's a chance for the first try of the game, and it will be a try. Flying down the sideline is number one, Nelson Bores. First try of the tournament to Scott's goal. Lovely expansive play there, Peter, and uh, Nelson Bores. Actually head boy of the Scots College this year. Well, isn't that appropriate, eh? He's uh, set the tone for the Scots boys. Three teams competing today. And that was classic sevens rugby. They held the ball in their own... Uh, Red, red line area and then they used the numbers, they had good alignment and Farrow were found wanting out wide. So five points to nil to Scott's goal. Where else would you rather be than at Scott's College today with this magnificent weather and the great view watching some spectacular football. Good high kick, giving the players time to get underneath it. Big number two, Will Harris, comes in and makes a good tackle. Farrer in possession. They've lost it on the ground, going backwards, says the referee. Good driving, counter-rucking from Scott's, and they've got possession. It's Scott's ball, and it could be another try. It is another try, and going in is Will Harris. 10-0. Look too easy, mate. Well, I think it all came from pressure in the uh, in the tackle there, and off from from the kickoff and immense pressure. From the turnover and Scots were able to capitalise and score their second try. Take Styles attempting the conversion. That's a pretty useful looking kick. Just shaves the uprights. No goal. Ten nil to score. For those who aren't aware, it's seven minutes per half in a game of sevens with one minute in between. Fast and furious, frenetic, very exciting football, great demand on fitness. Contestable kick this one. Short, high, steepling drop kick that uh, is awkward for Farrah. They couldn't pick it up, knocked forward by Scots. So it will be a Farrah put in. Yeah, Joshua Douse there from Farrah under the under the high ball kick off there and did quite a good job and uh, Scott's coming through have just knocked that ball on so a chance for Farrah to show us what they've got with the pill. Well, they haven't had many opportunities. What they have had uh, has been snuffed out pretty quickly from some good defence from Scott's. And Farrah come away with it. The halfback, 10 metres short of halfway, but a penalty goes the other way. Quick tap taken by Scott's. Quick hands from Jake Styles. They've got the numbers out right. And they should go over and score in the corner. And they do. And it's number seven, Ben Baker, who scores their third try and makes it 15 0. Yeah, it was a lovely try there, Peter. I think the key to that try was the passes all out in front there. The boys running on the ball and uh, Benny Baker scoring over in the corner. Very impressive. If you uh, were a stranger and walked in and had a look at the replay screen, you could be forgiven for thinking it was the Thunderbolts, the Australian men's sevens team. Such were the skills on display in that try. Of course, Scott's won uh, first, second and fourth grade GPS premierships this year. Fantastic year for Scott's. And that was the fourth year in succession, need I tell you that Scots have won the GPS title. There's the kickoff by Styles, And Scots have got the numbers again, but this time it's straightened up. And back to the blind side it goes, and this could be another try. There's room out wide if he's got the speed, but good defence by Farrah there. Still Scots in possession. Now across the line it comes. Ben Baker getting it out wide, and this will be another try. I think over in the corner goes Nelson Boers for his second. He's got a double. Beautiful handling by Scott, drawing the man, making the most of the width of the field. 20 points to one.
Styles' attempt at conversion is wide, but it's 20 nil. Yes, in the Scots Gold program, I think number 12 is Tom Yasmin. Actually, Fraser Duff is wearing the 12 uh, jersey. I've heard about Yasmin. He's apparently a very good winger. Big kick might be too big. Close to the sideline. Beautifully taken. What a beautiful kick that was. It's one of the things about sevens, if you can kick off so that you can contest it and get possession back, it's a huge factor in sevens. Now Scott's with possession again. Using the ball, Jake Stiles. Loose on the ground. Billy Smith. Oh, oh too lovely easy. show and go there, Peter. Lovely show and go there by Bill Smith. Try number five to Scotts, and they're just doing it in a canter. Twenty-five points to nil. What a start by Scotts College. And for once they've raised the flags, 27 points to nil. Jake Styles successful. The next match will be Riverview against St John's. So we'll get our first look at the boys from Nambour, St John's College. Farrah really haven't had much of a chance to show what they've got, have they? No, hopefully in the second half they get a bit more ball and uh, can uh, show us what they've got in attack. They've been doing a lot of defence, the boys. So at half time, that's the score. It's pretty one sided. Scott's very impressive. They've scored five tries in leading 27 0. Here's the restart. And Farrow using the ball nicely. Nice little run there by their number four. That's Jacob Williams. But a penalty goes to Scotts. Just a little knock on there from the uh, Farrah boys, but you know, they, a good passage of play there from the kickoff taken by Lachlan Smith there for Farrah, and they got the ball wide, but just uh, made that error at that stage. So Scott's once again putting pressure on into in the defence. Yes, knock on scrum. Here goes Scott's again. This potent back line, little show. And a dummy scissors, but doesn't come off. The ball loose in the ground, picked up by Charlie Baker, number 11. Getting his run. 
Now there's an extra man on the side, but oh, it won't be needed. Fraser Duff just... No, that's Tom Yasmin. That's Tom Yasmin. Tom Yasmin. No, yeah, he's the big guy. 100 kilos on the wing. I've heard reports about him. And I believe he can run sub 11 seconds for the 100 metres. We saw a little bit of it there with that fend and uh, just a little bit of a spurt through. Didn't really have to go top pace to score the try. That makes it 32. There's the conversion, 34-0. Yasmin, a, a really good build for a sevens player these days. You seem to have to be pretty big to play the game, whether it's sevens or fifteens. And he's got size and speed. The kickoff was a good one, but both players overran it, and it's into touch. Yeah, Jake Styles' kickoffs have been very impressive today. I think he's put a lot of work into it during the week, and it's uh, proving to be a very successful ploy there for the Scots College. Throwing in is Jacob Williams for Farah. Oh, bad throw over the top. Beautiful offload, and that's a try. What a beautiful offload that was. Lucas Thompson scoring. I thought it was William Goddard, number no, eight. No, 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 that was uh, Jeremy Williams for, uh, for Scott's oh, scoring your pardon. that try. Yes. A, lovely par a lovely ball from Angus McKenzie. Really, uh, really uh, showed good knowledge and uh, good awareness to give it off there to Jeremy Williams to score his first try of the day. Shows the value of the uh, accurate throw at the line-out. It was a little bit too long. And the turnover position was the result and the try. So that's 39. Look at this kick from Styles. That's a beauty from the sideline. Another two points. 41. Yeah, 41 nil here, and uh, little knock on there, so it'll be a scrum with Farrow with the put in. The sun's so bright, you can forgive them for knocking on. Looking into that sun today, it's really bright. Well, we haven't seen much of it, Peter, so it's, <laughs> a, it's a pleasant It's pretty surprise. welcome, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that extraordinary? This pitch has dried out so well. It's, it's a credit to uh, Scott's College and the ground staff. The sand base. Good shove from Scott's, but still it's a uh, Farrah ball. And they work it along the back line through Jacob Williams. Fraser Evans, oh, he's been dispossessed, and here's the chance for the overlap out wide, and it's going to be a try in the corner. Big number nine goes over and scores the try. Darcy Breen. Yeah, that's big Darcy Breen scoring his first try of the day. Forty-six points to nil. See a very valuable player in last year's GPS uh, Premiership winning team, Peter. What is he a prop? He certainly is. Yeah, he looks it. <laughs> he runs like a deer for a prop, though. This is another good attempt, but it's wide. So it stays Scots College 46, Farrah nil. And for the Scots team now, we have both Bakers on the uh, on the paddock for Scots Gold, the Benny and Charlie twins. Look at this high restart, beautifully done and well retrieved by Scots College. It could be a try. It's Yasmin going down the sideline. Lovely low tackle made by number four for Farrah. That's Jacob Williams. Yasmin acting halfback, but a little bit of a knock on there.
great defense by Farah there. The boys are certainly out weighed up front. Hamish, I beg your pardon, it's uh, Fraser Evans feeding. That's Williams. Tom Fuller. Oh, awkward pass, but good evasive skills by Farah. Oh, look at that tackle. What a cracker. Big number 10, Jeremy Williams. Ball and all. The overlap out wide. Easy try for Yasmin. He's held, but he stretches out, and he scores his second. Yeah, he actually ended up having a little bit of work there, Yasmin. A good defence. Credit to the Farah boys for making him work so hard to get over the line there. And so Scott's bring up the 50. 51-0. There's a siren for full time, and I wonder if this is an omen for the rest of the day with Scott so powerful. We've got three teams here, and they're going to be pretty hard to beat if that's any indication. 51 points to nil.